Welcome to the second channel. In this video, you're gonna see what you can get for an $8 seafood buffet in Saigon, Vietnam. To be honest, I have no idea how they make money. I'm seeing seafood there, I'm seeing meat, I'm seeing weird, strange, interesting offcuts I never expected to see at a buffet before. It's too good to be true. How can they be getting this much meat for this cheap of a price? I'm gonna eat a lot of what is inside and whatever happens, happens. You guys ready? Let's see what you can get for eight bucks in Saigon. So I've got my plate. This is the biggest plate that they have here. Maybe that's how they save money and they stop you from eating so much. First of all, desserts, fruits, I'm good for now. Here they have a whole array of sauces. We have a few crock pots full of some hot steaming items. There is pasta, rice, and then in here, there might even be some intestines. What? Then we come to the salad section. Tomatoes, lettuce, vegetables, not my favorite. But as we keep moving, it keeps getting better. Here we've got some of the seafood, oysters. We've got mussels. We've got some kind of a big snail creature. One really cool element of this buffet is the way you cook the food. They don't cook it for you. You actually get the raw ingredients, bring it to your table, and you can either grill it or put it in a hot pot. For that, they have all of these vegetables right here. As we keep coming down to the end here, we have the whole protein section. Every animal you can imagine, it is represented here. They even have frog legs. I want to do a few rounds back and forth to the table and back to here showing you some of the most unique food they have to offer. Let's get started. Round one, let's get into it. Now, my strategy is this. I want to get some stuff that I have to cook and some stuff that's already done. Right here, we have some little bitty mussels with some peanuts. We have some scallops. Nothing goes better with seafood than pork hearts. I almost overlooked this next food because it's next to the salads. But then I looked under here. Come take a look at this. You can see they have some frog legs that have already been cooked. I don't know if it's a front leg, a back leg, side leg. Oh, yes. That's a huge quadricep right there. We've got our round one right here. Let's head to the table. Boom, round one, high quality content. Time to grill. <laughs> what is inside of there? The shells are going crazy. Woohoo! Look at that, listen to that sound. Okay, there we go, that one's normal. So everything is on the grill. I'm gonna try some of these frog legs. Uh, gosh, should I eat them cold? I trusted the frog legs until I picked them up. I thought they would feel like KFC, but no. They just need a little bit of heat to burn off any potential, you know, COVID-19, COVID-20, COVID-21, and COVID-22. Right here, you can see it's just boiling in that beautiful, delicious scallion juice. I've chosen to retrieve these so they can cool down a little bit. Meanwhile, the hearts, it is looking well done. This part was responsible for pumping blood to the ankle, probably. Oh, that's good. So fresh, like it's almost still beating in my mouth. I love the pork heart, easy and quick to cook and just an awesome texture. Mm -hmm. This is how you save money if you're a buffet. Don't hire any cook. One of the scallops that has cooled down. You can see the scallops, some scallion oil, and then some peanuts on there too. I love it. I love the scallion oil. Peanuts give it some texture. And this is just a classic Vietnamese way to prepare shellfish. We have the frog legs. Oh, yes. Look at that. Well done. How do you guys like your frog legs? Oh, they're changing my grill. Thank you. So if you take a look here, you got quadriceps, you got hamstrings, and you've got the skin on the outside. Oh, man. That is really good. I cannot believe how delicious that is. The frog meat itself is somewhere between chicken and fish. It's crunchy and a little bit sweet. I love that flavor. Mini mussels, similar preparation. We've got scallions, some peanuts, a little bit of scallion oil. Meaty, delicious, and a little bit scary. If you're always wondering, did I cook that long enough? But I think I did. We got a lot more rounds to go. Let's move. We are back for round two, and this round is all about strange meat cuts you wouldn't expect to find at a buffet. I can't believe it. Half of it is gone already because it's so popular. Anybody have a guess as to what that is? Well, if you guessed the intestinal part near the butthole of a pig, you're correct. Good guess. Well, all I know for sure is this needs to be separated from the other food. It needs to be quarantined and locked down like it's a citizen of Shanghai. Hey, I'm not saying they should be locked down. I'm saying this should be locked down. Something you're not going to find at Old Country Buffet. This is pig skin that's been saturated with some kind of a seasoning. The last thing is right here, the fin of a fish and just the little piece of muscle tissue that connects the fin to the body. That is enough mixed mystery meats for round two. Let's go back to the table. I'm starting to figure out that this is probably how they actually make money. How incredible is it to go to a buffet that is less than $8 and you could drink 24 beers for $24? That's a good deal. Let's get to grilling. The sauce they put on there, mesmerizing. It smells actually quite delicious. Oh, I got a little confident, guys. I'm sorry. That is very intense. The pork skin, this should technically be cooked already, but you have to like get it nice and bubbly. The best part about this skin, though, is the skin is starting to pop. You got to be careful. That oil will go right in your eyeballs. It 
Time has, I'm gonna lose a freaking eyeball. To me, it doesn't look burned enough. A little toasty on the edges. I now have a beautiful array of sauces next to me. Am I gonna dip it? No. I don't need to cover up that smell. Let's go for it. Mm. It's like the poor man's calamari. If you can't afford calamari, I promise you, you can afford this. Really chewy, gummy, like the worst flavor of extra bubble gum you've ever had in your life. But I gotta say, it tastes a lot better than it smells. Just chewy and chewy and chewy, and you keep trying to macerate it with your teeth and nothing's happening. But the more you eat it, the more you like it. This is my third piece right now. I'm gonna put it in this mayonnaise sauce mixed with chili sauce. All right, pork butthole. Grow the heck out of it. Have an array of dipping sauces and you're good. I like it. I would eat the rest of that. So this pig had kind of a thin skin like me. Here, check it out. And please don't write anything mean in the comments. I can't take it. Super hot. On the edge, a little bit sticky, gummy, and some parts are a little bit crunchy. Oh, look at this piece. So dark and toasty. That is perfect. And the more you grill it, the more crunchy and gummy it gets. It's a lovely texture. We need a new grill for the fish. Anyway. People always want fillets, but everyone forgets about the fins. It's considered food. A bit toasty on the outside. That is my style. I want to give it a little bit of a dip in this green chili sauce. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. The piece around the cartilage is very good. It's just like a little morsel of delicious fatty meat. This green sauce is perfect. It's spicy, it's citrusy, and then you've got the perfect handle right here. Mother Nature gave fish a fin for a reason. So we could do this. Mm, very delicious. Most of the people here are drinking. And so what goes better with a bunch of beer than a bunch of little bite-sized pieces of meat that you can eat while you drink and continue to drink. Ready for the next round? Let's go. We've got some oysters, some giant freaking shellfish. These look incredible. And then over here, we have something I'm dying to try. Big intestine, small intestine. It just looks so wild. There we go. Round three, let's go. A big freaking shellfish. And this is really impressive to see at a place that is so freaking cheap. Here you don't pay any extra and you can eat as many as you want. I've got some salt and pepper here. I'm gonna just toss that in and pretend I'm a chef. Ooh, yes. Perfectly seasoned. In the meantime, this is a dish called balao. It's gonna be a combination of all the internal organs of the pig. That would be heart, possibly kidney. There's even spleen, a liver piece as well. It's a very common, popular dish all over in Vietnam. I'm gonna try some of these small intestines first. Yes, nailed it. Intestines are always a gamble. I swear, it's like investing in cryptocurrency. You just never know if it's gonna completely ruin your life. <laughs> the bigger intestine pieces, much more intense, but the small intestine, very tasty. Those are some of my favorite intestines in a long distant memory. Next, oysters. How do you open them? Maybe like this? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm telling you guys, this is the highest level of trust in the world. I'm taking my life into my old hands here and try eating raw oysters. I think I'll cook it a little bit. But overall, they do smell fresh. We're in the middle of cooking the snails. They brought a hot pot right here, and I can see they already have two different broths inside it. That looks awesome. Oyster. Give it a dip in this delicious green chili sauce. Let's try out this shriveled, tiny little oyster. And just like that, it's gone. Like an M&M, like it just went away so quickly. This is not gonna go away so quickly. This is a mammoth shellfish right here. There we go. Yeah, get it nice and saturated. Very chewy. It tastes kind of like a snail. I like that a lot. It's super impressive to see this at a buffet. If you just wanted to fill your whole grill full of these shellfish, you're basically getting your money back immediately. Guys, I just realized they also have intestines just like two rows down, but I'm all intestined out right now. They have quail. You can get a whole half of quail. This is one more seafood I wanted to show you guys. This is called a razor clam. It has a unique shape and it's so yummy. Let's go back to the grill. Half a quail, half a quail, half a quail. That is quite a trio right there. Name a better trio than that. Maybe the three stooges, maybe the three amigos. No, it doesn't get better than three half quails. On the side, razor clams. I don't usually cook poultry and seafood at the same time. And now we wait. The thing is making a video like this takes a long time because everything takes about 10 minutes to grill. Round four cooking is complete. The racer clam, it is like kind of a snaily texture. Dip it in our fresh chili salt and that is gonna be awesome. Oh. If you're from a snowy climate like me, you come here and you just see sea creatures you never knew even existed. You might think, whatever the heck that is, I'll skip this one, I'll get a burger. No, these are truly incredible. It is so good. And then my other favorite seafood, the quail. Hmm? It's more air food. I'm gonna try to peel the breast off. It's a pretty good bite. I give up. There's no way anyone in Vietnam is eating it how I'm doing it. You gotta just chew it off. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, look at that drumstick. This is like a drumstick you would get in a Barbie playset. I mean, go look at that turkey leg at the Minnesota State Fair. Gigantic. This is not that. This is half a bite. Mm. 
That is delicious. We've got our hot pot. I'm gonna go grab some ingredients, bring them back and toss them in. Let's go. Boom, it is the final round and this is our hot pot right here with two different broths. Guys, $7.75 and we've got a mushroom broth and a Thai broth. First things first, throw in some vegetables. Corn, okra, eggplant, oyster mushroom. Next, the meat. Balls, because I love putting balls in my mouth. And then beef, because I love putting beef in my mouth also. Oh, yes. All right, we are bubbling now. This is an oyster mushroom. I'm gonna try that out first. Here we go, let's go for it. Mmm, just what I expected. It's sweet, it's sour, and just a little bit spicy. Oh yeah, it's ball time, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Huh? It's a little bit fishy. It's kind of surprising. It is like a processed fish ball. A little musty tasting, but overall delightful. I wanna try this side. This is a mushroom broth, and this is a mushroom. Just a little bit savory, more mild, nothing too intense. The beef is complete. Uh-oh, a mistake has been made. I overcooked the F out of that. Probably what I should have done is just dipped it in there a little bit. But right now, that meat is a little bit chewy. Noodle time. Whoosh. Less than two minutes, and that is basically ready to eat. Oh, I'm gonna grab some of those noodles, throw them in my cup. Okay, I found some beef to mix with it, some more mushroom. It's just a big clump of noodles all together. Cheers. Oh, man. Best ramen noodles of my life. We've all bought ramen noodles and we all try to figure out what we can do to dress them up. Put some eggs with it, put some ham with it, put some vegetables with it. But here, this is like doing that on steroids. There are so many options, so many vegetables, meats, noodles. I cannot believe for less than $8, what is going on here? Is this place gonna go bankrupt in the next three months? I just don't know how they survive doing this. It's a lot of meat, it's a lot of quality and a lot of food. Karma, bragging too much about cheap prices. I mean, this is what a buffet is meant to be. And I just hope they're making money and not losing money. This is incredible. I love what they're doing. And my gosh, what an excellent value. Boom, guys, that is the end of the buffet experience. I wanna say one thing. If you think this place paid me to give this review, you don't understand economics. They charge $8 per person. There's no way it's possible. I was completely ready for this place to be a, 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 a friggin' food poisoning cesspool of old foods bought on the black market. But it was the opposite of that. This was delightful. The variety, the amount of protein, the flavors. There's two hot pots in one hot pot. Look at everything I ate today. Did they even make a profit off of me? Sure, I had 37 beers, but I mean, the food part. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more super cheap buffets because there are so many of them in Vietnam. Let me know if you like it. Leave a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. All right. I'm going to find a sleeping buffet.